Hi there, I'm going to show you today how real-time notifications work um, and how we can set up desktop notifications uh, in case the InTracker tab is hidden within the browser um, and then also how email notifications work. So real-time notifications for low quantity and out-of-stock pro uh, products will automatically work um, and will show you an alert uh, within the, uh, the interface here without you having to set anything up. Um, if an alert does come through, uh, it will show up in the top right here. There's a little uh, notifications uh, drop down. Uh, and you can see right now that we currently don't have any. Uh, if we want to set up desktop notifications, what we're going to do is go to our account settings tab in the top. And on the left hand side, you'll see a section for notifications. We'll go ahead and click that. Um, under desktop notifications, you'll see here that there's a big button enable. Um, if you don't see this section, it means that your browser unfortunately doesn't support desktop notifications. Uh, currently, this feature is supported in Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, uh, but does not work in Internet Explorer. Um, so I'm using Chrome here, so this example um, will, will show you what it looks like in Chrome, uh, and it may vary a little bit for Safari and or Firefox. Uh, so what I want to do here is go ahead and click the Enable button. And at the top, you'll see there's a little drop-down uh, prompting me to allow desktop notifications for app.intracker.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Allow, and I'll only ever have to, the, I'll only ever have to do this once. Um, once it's enabled, it will be enabled forever, um, and you'll see here that the status changed uh, to enabled. Um, so now, uh, when I get a notification, even if the InTracker browser is, is hidden behind something else, maybe I'm using Microsoft Word or checking my email, um, I'll still get a notification on the desktop to let me know that, that something's going on with my inventory. Uh, below desktop notifications, um, you'll see there's a few text boxes here. Uh, for email addresses. So what I can do is enter a uh, comma separated list of email addresses um, that I want an email sent to when the uh, action occurs. So for example in the product is low field um, I can say send an email to bob at intracker.com and uh, john at intracker.com um, and all I do is separate these email addresses by a comma uh, I can click save to save the changes and what's going to happen is when a product uh, goes low um, it will send an email to both Bob and John. Pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do now is go over into my product list um, and you'll see here I just have a single product, a t-shirt, and let me click into it and you'll see that we have uh, four different size variations um, and I have some quantities for each one um, and the low quantity uh, alert value for all of them is 10 units. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this large product um, and to show you what it looks like when a product goes low is I'm going to go ahead and make its quantity uh, 9, just under the low quantity limit. Um, now actually it will alert if it's low um, when it hits the low quantity limit or goes under. So this would actually work for 10 as well. And I'm going to go ahead and save this product. And what's going to happen is I get a, uh, an alert here, product is running low, t-shirt. Um, and I'll also get an alert on my desktop, uh, which you, you can't see in this video. Um, but it, it popped up on my desktop alerting me uh, that the product is running low. Uh, now if I close out of this product, you'll see in the top right here now, we have another uh, an alert that's showing. Um, and it shows us exactly what product and what variation went low uh, and says when it happened. So it happened just now. Um, now what I can do is I can click on this product and it'll take me directly to it. Um, now, of course, this is the only product that's in my inventory. So uh, the list looks exactly the same. Um, but if I had other products, it would narrow it down to just the product that, that I clicked on. Um, now let me go back into this product, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same variation large, and I'm actually going to put it out of stock. So if it's zero or less, uh, meaning we, we oversold a product, um, it will throw an out of stock notification. So I'll make it zero, I'll click save, and you can see I immediately get a notification that the product is out of stock, and again I get a desktop notification. And if I close out of this, um, you'll see there are two notifications up here in our notification area, and we can see the out-of-stock alert for the same product. Um, so this will keep going. Um, anytime we get a, an out-of-stock or a low quantity on any product or variation, um, and it will show us how long ago that, that notification came through. Uh, notifications are cleared uh, every 24 hours, so you'll always have a 24-hour running history of what products are going out-of-stock uh, and which products have gone out of stock.